two days ago, we got the bombshell report out of Warner Brothers that Wonder Woman 3 would not be moving forward, that the project was dead in the water for Patty Jenkins and Gal Gadot. And that started a firestorm of rumors and reports and all these things going on with DC, including James Gunn leading a full reboot of the DC universe. Well, now somebody else apparently wants to tell their side of the story in the aftermath of this report. Patty Jenkins, Wonder Woman 3 not moving forward as DC movies hit turning point. Now, according to this initial report, Patty Jenkins turned in what she wanted to do for Wonder Woman 3, and James Gunn, as well as a bunch of other studio executives, said, this isn't what we want. We want to move a different direction. And that led to Wonder Woman 3 being dead in the water. Well, according to new reports, that's not exactly what happened. This sounds like Patty Jenkins' camp wants to get her side of the story out there. Warner Brothers didn't cancel Wonder Woman 3. Patty Jenkins walked off the project exclusive over here on The Wrap. In exchange with studio chief Mike DeLuca, the Wonder Woman 1984 filmmaker sent him a dictionary definition of character arc. Hollywood was stunned by the news this week that Warner Brothers Discovery would not move forward with Wonder Woman 3, but in fact it was Patty Jenkins who directed the first two films who walked off the project after rejecting the studio notes on her treatment, multiple individuals told The Wrap. Jenkins' exit came as James Gunn and Peter Safran have been getting settled in their new roles as co-CEOs of DC Films and are busy plotting out an extensive multi-year plan for DC to present to D CEO David Zaslav next week. Although Gunn and and Saffron have been given a mandate to reshape the DC landscape, Warner Brothers has ongoing enterprises that, quote, nobody was going to mess with. And this is very interesting. These includes Matt Reeves writing the sequel to The Batman, J.J. Abrams' Black Superman movie, apparently, according to this report, that's still going to happen, uh, from Ta-Nehisi Coates, Todd Phillips' Joker 2, and Patty Jenkins doing Wonder Woman 3. Last week, Jenkins turned in her, her treatment for Wonder Woman 3 to the studio, according to Insiders. Warner Brothers film co-chairpersons Michael DeLuca and Pamela Abdi didn't think the treatment worked and decided not to move forward with the film in its current iteration. Gunn and Safran also agreed that it didn't work. DeLuca and Abdi spoke to Jenkins and said they didn't get the treatment, didn't think it was the right direction, and asked Jenkins if she would consider pitching something else to go in a different direction. According to an insider, Patty Jenkins refused. Oh, Patty Jenkins, so stunning and brave, refused and let them know that, sh that they were wrong and they didn't understand her, didn't understand the character and didn't understand character arc and didn't understand what Jenkins was trying to do. Well, I think people are right to be worried about Patty Jenkins in complete and total control of a project. Look at Wonder Woman 1984. Now, again, this was a movie that was released in theaters, didn't get hardly any box office results, but it was also released on streaming at the same time. So a lot of the reviews on here that aren't verified are from streaming. When you look at this all audience, the audience despised it. They hated Wonder Woman 1984 for a variety of reasons, but I think it's indicative of what happens when Patty Jenkins just gets to do whatever she wants, gets whatever she wants, and it was a complete and total disaster. They didn't want the same thing to happen for Wonder Woman 3, and reportedly, Patty Jenkins just said, go fuck yourselves then. To underscore her point, Jenkins sent an email to DeLuca that ended with a link to Wikipedia definition of character arc. Jenkins was told if she wanted to come back and pitch a different version, the studio would hear it. She stood firm to her vision and responded that if they didn't want to do her treatment, she wasn't going to do a different one and would instead just move on to her next film. Jenkins especially didn't want to hear what newly installed Chiefs Gunn and Saffron had to say, even though they had nothing to do with the decision to not to move forward. She doesn't want to allow them to have a seat at the table and have an opinion on something new that she might come up with. This, listen, if this is real, again, this is a different side of the story we're getting. I believe this because I believe that Patty Jenkins would be someone like that. Patty Jenkins is someone who, after the success of Wonder Woman, all of a sudden had all these opportunities, all these things. Uh, remember, she got that Star Wars movie. She was difficult to work with. Well, Lucasfilm's also difficult to work with as well. But that's not moving forward anymore. Wonder Woman 1984, a fully just Patty Jenkins by herself project, that was a complete and total disaster. And now she's sitting there refusing to bend in any way, shape, or form to what Warner Brothers and DC wants to do moving forward.
According to this report, Patty Jenkins said, I can't do this. I'm walking away if you want me to change anything. After something like this, after a disaster like Wonder Woman 1984, you can't just let Patty Jenkins do whatever she wants. You need to have some supervision. You need to have something going on there to prevent that. Obviously, she can do good things. We saw Wonder Woman. That was a good movie. Wonder Woman 1984 was not. And it sounds like she's just not willing to work with anybody at this point, including James Gunn. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.